Today I'll be demoing Scandi's Roo SDK on Mac OS and Linux. I'll use three different 3D sensors by three different vendors to show that our software can run on any system with any sensor. I'll also show a face comparison done with Scandi Pro on my iPhone 11 with a lookout attachment. Look forward to showing you what we can do. Okay, great. So what we've got here is my still life to scan, my Mac OS laptop, three different 3D sensors, and my iPhone 11 with the lookout attachment. So, the three different sensors. On the far left, we have the Structure Core by Occipital. We have the RealSense DS or D435i. And the last one is a developer sample from a company called Annuitive, and this is the M42P1. So, let's get started. Up first is going to be a scan done for a baseline comparison, just to show kind of our bread and butter, what every developer should expect whenever you're working with the Roo SDK, our flagship app, Scandi Pro. So this is running with the lookout attachment, and I've got it set to monochrome mode, just so that we've got a good scan comparison. And I'm gonna set the resolution to one millimeter as well, since that's what I'll be doing the other scans with. So not gonna be able to see terribly well, given that the uh, sensor is looking away from the camera, but don't worry, we're doing a screen record too. So here we go, getting my subjects aligned well in the center of the frame, and then I'm just gonna hit the volume rocker to start the scan and then comfortably reposition the phone so that I can get around everything. And again, this is kind of the, the best in class experience that we have at Scandi, since this is what we focus all of our development efforts on is making sure that the Roo SDK runs really great on the iPhone since there's hundreds and millions of devices available for you to build applications on top of. So here we go. You can see this is getting really good detail. You can see the little gaps in the shoe. Also just the scanning experience of being wireless and wire free and all the computing being done on the phone makes it a really nice scanning experience. So see I'm actually able to see through the lenses of my Quest and I'm going to, oh, lost tracking, got it back. Hopefully be able to get a really good, nice, complete 360 scan. And then I'm also gonna come back over top here just to make sure that any areas that didn't get scanned are getting done now. Great. So I'll finish that scan. It is done scanning. And there is our reference scan. So you'll notice that it's mirrored because of the mirror. Um, but you can see inside the shoe, you can see the controller, uh, the places we even got the straps. Um, we don't have a ton of detail on the laces. You can see that the baseball does have some seams there's a bit of an indication on the Quest headset where the Scandi sticker is. Overall, really happy with the quality of the scan that we can do with Scandi Pro and the Lookout. Okay, up next, the Structure Core by Occipital. So here we go. This is a Structure Core that we kindly got from Occipital. And I'm just gonna plug it in with a USB-C cable to my MacBook over here. And I've got the sample app that we call a 2 Fay running on my MacBook. And I'm going to go in here and select um, from scanner type, structure core. And I will init, also known as initialize and then turn the preview on and 
There we go, the sensor's running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop this far plane to 0 0.5 so that we don't have as much random stuff coming into our scan in the background. Maybe we'll go with 0 0.6. Cool, great. Um, so I've done a few tests of this already, but um, something I'm finding that's just generally challenging with the cable scanning is um, there's a cable. <laughs> it's a little bit harder to scan than freeform with the, um, the iPhone. So we're not going to judge everything just based on that. This is more, you know, just showing that we can scan on a bunch of different platforms. So um, I will go ahead and start the scan. This is all running on Scandi, uh, Scandi's RU SDK. And so this isn't using any type of tracking or any other uh, slam or anything like that from any of these sensor vendors. It's just taking the raw depth map and then scanning um, with that data. So. I'm going to have a little bit of a trouble getting away from this scan area. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop that because again, we're not really trying to do a complete full 360 scan here. Just wanted to show that we're running with these different sensors and that you can run on, in this case, Mac OS, which again is using the same metal kernels that iOS is using. And then we can also scan on Linux with OpenCL and we'll show that in a minute. Um, so you can just see the different quality of data that we get from different sensors. So this is not the true depth camera. It has different features and different drawbacks. Uh, we have not spent a lot of time um, refining our cleanup and our processing algorithms for any of these sensors. So again, please do not judge these sensors on this demo. This is merely meant to show that Roo can be run from Mac OS and Linux with whatever sensor you want to bring to the table. If you are using any of these sensors in a production environment and you need us to refine the data or help you come up with better scanning techniques based on the data type, we're happy to do that. Okay, up next, we have the RealSense D435i which I don't know if I'll get the camera to focus on that. There we go. Uh, again, this is a USB-C device, so I'll get to use the same cable. And this will be plugged into my MacBook again. So just using my Oculus Quest cable, by the way. Um, these all prefer USB 3 cables, but they, they work with USB 2, so that's what we're going with. So again, I will come over here, select RealSense from the drop-down this time, and then I'm going to initialize, start the preview, and bring that far plane in. So the far plane, you can see, is just how far away we allow data to be seen. Um, we're working on adding this to Scandi Pro so that you can adjust the far plane manually yourself if, if you would like to. Um, so you can see the different you know, quality of data. Every, every sensor is going to use a different approach to generate data. And this is quite different than the approach that the Structure Core uses, which is quite different than the approach that the True Depth uses. So I'm going to click start and I'm able to get a little bit cleaner of a scan going here than I was previously. Again, you'll notice that the scan setup is backwards, which I've got a lot of experience with trying to move sensors opposite to what a visualizer says. So all good. Um, so 
I'm a little worried I'm gonna lose tracking here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the scan. And I'm going to mesh it. And there we go. This is running on Roo version 071, uh, plus a lot of commits. This is a feature branch. Um, and so you can see the different, you know, different quality of data here, different scanning technology, different, uh, different scanning input. So again, if you are wanting to do 3D scanning and you have a Mac setup, and you've got a real sense that you want to do the scanning with, Roo is able to do that for you. So check it out, uh, send us an email, poke us in our Slack channel. We'd love to understand what project you're working on that you wanna use your MacBook to do the 3D scanning with. Okay, up next on the sensor demo, we have the Annuitive M42P1. Uh, Annuitive is a Israeli company. They uh, make a processor called the New 3000 and New 4000. Uh, it's a really great company. Done some work with them, really enjoy uh, their technology. And this is going to be showing um, the Annuitive device running on Linux. So, well, yes, this is a Surface Book. Um, it's actually booted into Ubuntu. We currently do not support Windows. Um, it's not really a definitive statement. It's just more of a, we don't have a need for Windows. If your company really wants to use our 3D scanning technology, but Windows is a requirement, tell us that. We would love to work with you. It's fairly simple for us to support Windows. It's just a matter of um, engineering hours. So here we go. I'm going to select Annuitive from my dropdown. I will initialize this and start the preview. Um, there's the preview stream and I'm going to do the same thing and drop the far plane in quite a bit. Um, you will notice the performance of scanning is not going to be near as good on this machine. That is not a, um, an indication of the device, the scanner itself. It's that our scanning flow is not near as optimized for real-time scanning on Linux via OpenCL as it is on Mac and iOS with Metal. So if you need real-time scanning with OpenCL and Linux, um, reach out to us. We can make it a priority. We can make the, the scanning performance better. It's just a matter of, of engineering hours. So again, the scanning here is backwards, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And you can see it's a little bit slower, a little bit chunkier to work with, but overall the scanning performance of this sensor I've been pretty impressed with. You can see the laces um, on the shoes. You could even see the little rubber bands that I've got on my Quest controllers to keep it from flying out of my hands as I'm playing Super Hot or some other intense game. Um, I think that's all I'm able to do. Yeah, I've lost tracking. Stop the scan. Mesh the scan. And there is our scan subject done on Linux with the Annuitive um, developer sample that we've got. So yeah, this is cool. Thanks for checking out the Roo SDK sensor demo. I just got through showing you Roo running on Mac OS and Linux with three different sensors and the reference scan with Scandi Pro on my iPhone 11 
with the lookout attachment. If you are looking to bring 3D scanning into a project that you're working on and you have Mac or Linux and any of these great 3D sensors, please go to roo.scandy.co and you can sign up for our free trial of Roo, get 3D scanning started today, and let us know what you think about it. This is part of our ongoing mission at Scandy, 3D for everyone. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. We post new videos regularly, and we'd love to hear from you on what you'd like to see Scandy work on next. Thanks for watching.